And good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. And we begin tonight in Kennewick, where the city is looking to add sandy beaches and new parks along the river. Kennewick is hoping to create a vibrant area along the Columbia. Austin Stanley shows you what it would look like in tonight's big story. Kennewick's Bridge to Bridge project hopes to transform this waterfront on Columbia Drive into a business hotspot. And now the city has unveiled some of its wish list. The first project, a sandy beach, would replace rocks found between the Blue Bridge and the Cable Bridge. Some of the elements, you know, are for public use. Some elements would be even for development to have restaurants or hotels along the waterway. Also on the short list are wineries and more retail shops. Charlene Brown and her husband have lived in Kennewick for eight years and love the idea of a sandy beach. I feel that we need a lot more of this type of thing in the Tri-City areas because there isn't an awful lot for the young people to do. The plan also includes a facelift to the Sacagawea Trail. It would look like this with piers for sightseeing and decks for fishing. Bob Fisher and his wife are visiting from Idaho. Bob says the plans I showed him would entice him to come back. We enjoy walking, looking at the bridges, this type of thing. Uh, looks like you've got some walkways in the area, so this would be a great addition. But not everyone is excited. I spoke to one of the homeowners whose property backs up to the Sacagawea Trail. One said he'd likely sell his property to avoid construction. But these plans are still far in the distance. Kennewick still needs approval by city leaders and input from the public before moving on its beachfront goals. In Kennewick, Austin Stanley, Action News. Now, this is still a wish list because there's no money in the budget right now. Kennewick would seek grants to help pay for the pod project. 